Hi guys, thanks for joining the webinar. We've got Blair Phillips and Ty Fisher on today. I'm Nate Grahek with Sticky Albums, and I'm, I'm really excited to have these guys walk you through uh, how you can use Rebuku to increase your album sales while also saving you time. I think that there's a number of tools out there in the, in the industry that have been founded by photographers to solve a problem that they have in their own growing business. And I think that's an awesome uh, foundation on which to build a business and I think it's really good for the photography industry as a whole when we can support these uh, grassroots founded organizations that that really help solve key issues in our business so when we talk about album sales a lot of people get excited about it at first and then all of a sudden hit a wall and go oh my gosh look at how much time they're taking me to design I'm not my hourly rate is just plummeting because I enjoy doing them, customers love them, but they just take a while to design. Or I'm intimidated and I'm not sure how to sell them. Um, those are some of the issues people run into. Well, I'm happy to say that this is not just a webinar we've got today uh, about just Rebuku. Blair's gonna be walking us through how you, you can incorporate album sales into your entire workflow, into your whole mindset, planting the seed early with your customer, shooting diversity, shooting with a wide range of different styles so that you have enough content or enough images to fill out an, or an album so that your, your customers feel like they just there's no way they couldn't get an album from you. Um, unfortunately, the, the live recording was cut a little short. We just, the, the first uh, five minutes were cut off. So I wanted to give you this quick introduction and now we can jump right back into the really good content where Blair is explaining how important it is that we branch out, that we learn new skills, that we use new tools so that we can compete. And he's got a really funny example here of, of the type of competition we've got coming from all sides. So sit back, relax, enjoy this recording, and let us know what you think. Here's Blair. Work has to continue to elevate. And if you don't elevate and evolve, then you're, you're just going to stay right where you are. So I'm going to share with you guys some lighting things that I do and, and different lenses, different things that I use. So just follow me here for the next few minutes. We're going, to, we're going to take a little trip into just an average session that I do, an average senior session. One of the things that I love, love, love is off-camera lighting. Now, these kids come in, and they love to see a big sky and a little person. And when I say little person, I don't mean it in that way. I mean a smaller perspective of a person. Uh, with a big sky, big scenic background, they love that. And one of the ways I do that is I use the Alien V uh, with, an, with a battery and a softbox. So I use basically a studio strobe outdoors. But I use it all in a very portable way, and I use it with this light cart here that extends up. We sell these on our site, too. Um, I've, been, I've been using this for about three years now. I couldn't imagine doing any sort of off-camera lighting without it. Now, how easy is it to create this look? I'm even going to give you some, some quick pointers here. If you want to go outside in the middle of the day in bright sun and be able to over conquer or overpower that sun and conquer your scene, this is how easy it is. All right? You meter for the sky. Here, let me get out of this just one second. Can you see the GoTo webinar control panel there? Yeah. Let's see. All right. Let me go back out of this just one second. Sorry, guys. No worries. Let me move. I'm going to move this over out of the way here where we can Perfect. see really well. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, you're uh, good. All we, all we see is your, uh, your slide, so you're good. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to meter for the sky, meaning you point the center-weighted meter in your camera. You point it towards the darkest point, darkest point in the sky that you can find. You adjust the meter inside your camera so that it's at zero, meaning you, use, you move your aperture and or your shutter speed to where those little hash marks line up on zero, meaning if you take an image, you're going to be perfectly exposed for the sky. Now that means your subject would be dark if you don't use any lighting. So the key is meter for the sky, even underexpose it just a little bit. So you want that sky to be nice and dark. So, so underexpose your sky just a little bit. Take a test shot of it. Make sure the sky is dark or it's, it's matching what you want to see in your mind. And once you do that, once you take your test shot, you're good to go. All you have to do is walk over to your light, turn it on, and just add a little bit of light. 
If once you take the image, your subject is too dark, you just adjust your lighting to be a little more. If she's too bright, you just adjust it down so there's not enough, not as much light. It's very, very simple. A lot of people are very intimidated by off-camera lighting, but this is a very easy formula for you to be able to, to go out and shoot in any conditions, when it's, especially when it's bright sun, high noon, middle of the day. And check this out. Here's just a few examples of straight from camera with some off-camera lighting. Man, you could sell that all day long and think of the amount of Photoshop you're going to have to do. Very minimal. This is straight from camera. This has a little bit of levels, curves, skin softening. Maybe took, I'm going to guess, maybe less than a minute to create that in Photoshop and you're good. Here again, I used to could never shoot these images in the middle of the day because I didn't have enough lighting to overpower the sun. My whole backdrop would just be completely white and blown out. And I got tired of that. I stopped making excuses. And I went out one day and I started using it and I figured it out. So a little bit of Photoshop, you have a good image. Same thing here. These people bring in their cars. They bring in cars, they bring in motorcycles, they bring in things they want to use outdoors. Well, I don't have the luxury of being a volume studio. I'm a high-end volume studio. And you can be both. You can be high-end and shoot a lot of volume. Because remember, you're worth it. You spend your time doing it. So why in the world are you not getting paid for it? So same thing here. These girls will show up and they're like, okay, I want to do some pictures with my car. And I say, oh, okay, this is... Wow, this is going to be great. Uh, it's bright sun. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is going to look crazy. Your car used to be red, but now it's going to be more of a, almost a white color because it's going to look like it's been struck by lightning because I don't know how to use off-camera lighting, and I'm kind of lazy, and I don't want to go through the hassle of doing it because I heard that it's really difficult, and I just I don't want to do all that. I'll just go find some shaded area. And my work will just continue to look the same as it has every other year and look like everybody else is in town. Or I can take the time during my off-season. I can learn some off-camera lighting, and that's one more thing I can add to my, work, my workflow here. So here, here again, just a little bit of Photoshop, and you're good. Now what, you wanna, what I want to see you do here is turn that power way down. Let's go to a different way of thinking. And instead of that bright dark or you know that dark rich blue sky let's just go into a shaded area and use a little bit of field flash so all I'm doing is I'm taking that same alien V that I use and I turn the power way down way down like almost all the way down to its lowest setting and then all I'm doing is metering as a natural light shot I'm going to meter for my subject's face and then it's that simple I'm going to shoot it that way and add just a little bit of fill flash, and all that's going to do is get rid of that dark socket up underneath her eyes that you're not going to have to fix in Photoshop. It just puts a ton of life in the eyes, tons of life in the eyes. And it's so simple. It creates so much less work for you in Photoshop. And then from there, so you've got your overpowering of the sun. You're using a fill flash as a separate look, and now we're going to find an even darker area somewhere and use a video light. Now the video light, let me back up one here, now just a second. The video light, the way I use my video light is, it come, my Alien B comes with a, a 100 watt light bulb on the inside of it as a modeling light. So I turn only the modeling light on, and I will use that as available lighting in a dark area, normally inside the studio, and I shoot back towards ambient lighting. Like this image right here on the right-hand side, the way I pick up this ambient lighting in the background is by trying to match the exposure of both of those. I just had a wedding this past weekend. It was all downtown Charlotte, all outside, all at nighttime. I did some amazing stuff with the couple with just a 100-watt light bulb. So already you can see I've got three completely different looks for my album that I'm going to build. Now on my light card as well, I have a reflector. Now I'm, I'm putting this reflector up underneath my subjects. A lot of people don't really like to use a reflector because it, it's extra work. Well, let me tell you, it only takes just a second to pull a reflector out and use the thing. It's taking you from a minor league setup to a major league setup. And look at the life you can get in the eyes with a simple silver or white reflector. I mean, I love these are, these are straight from camera images. 
Now I've got four different looks. Okay, and when I say looks, I mean four different lighting sources. And then from there, once we move to the inside, I'm going to start with some studio lighting. A lot of people with studio lighting, they get really fixated on one particular look. And the reason that we would get fixated on one particular look is because that's what we are comfortable with. And remember, you can't always stay in your comfort zone because if you shoot the same thing that you've always shot, obviously you're going to get the same results you always have. And we all know in this industry we have to constantly evolve. And that's why we're sharing companies like Rebuku and Sticky Albums. We're getting these companies out there that are on the forefront of everything that have the tools to make us that much more efficient. So using reflector lighting, we move into the studio. Instead of using two or three or four lights, just use one. Turn one studio light on. Just turn one on and make yourself learn to use that one light. It creates a lot of drama. Another way you can pull out a lot of emotion is just with one light. It doesn't brighten up your whole scene, and it just creates a more emotional, dramatic look. So make yourself use one light. And then turn on two lights. If you look at this image here on the far left-hand side, it's brighter on the left-hand side than it is on the right-hand side. And the reason being is we're trying to create what's called a separation light, a key light, if you will, um, and that is just to separate her from the background. And the kids really, really love this, this separation lighting. Um, and here, I'll add a reflector back on the right-hand side. So let's, let's talk through one of these images. On the far left-hand side of this image, pointing right back towards her, I've got a strip light. And it has a higher output than my main light, which is on the right-hand side. So I don't the left is brighter than my main light, which is on the right. Because I want that over there to be a lot brighter, the main light to be a little softer. And then I'll add in a little reflector that just gets a little bit of the light that spills over right back into her face. You're basically trying to create a ratio. So always think about that when you're using two lights in your studio or anywhere, even the sunlight outside and an off-camera flash. Use both of those against one another to create separation everywhere you go. So now I think I'm up to like six or seven different light sources, six or seven completely different looks. And what I'm doing is in my mind, I'll show you in a minute, how I'm guaranteeing myself an album sale. There is no way that they're going to walk away from here without buying an album. So we go from two lights. I walk right over to my next set, and we use a three-light setup. I have these tools here. It's a little bit of extra work. It takes like, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 extra seconds to turn on one more light. So, woo, big deal there, right? The amount, of, the amount of time you're going to save in designing these albums, you can use 36 lights if you need to. But the key here is two separation lights one on either side. You're creating a very strong ratio. And this is kind of that, this is that lighting that you see in a lot of the glamour magazines and a lot of your modeling, limp, uh, modeling magazines, things like that. They're using a strong contrast to create a very high-end look. And you can do this with, any, with anyone. I can use this lighting and even make myself look halfway decent. So if I can do it with myself, then the subjects that we have are, are perfect. Again, guys, you're thinking of building an album. And you may ask yourself, well, now, how in the world do you do all this? You must spend forever on a session. My average senior session is an hour and a half to two hours, and that's it. I know that, that may seem like a lot to some or maybe not a whole lot to other people, but that is what I like is an hour and a half to two hours. It allows me to be very personal with my subject and her mother or his mother. I'm creating a bond, and... I'm showing them that, hey, look at the amount of effort I'm putting into this. Look at all the different tools that I'm using. And I'm validating myself as I'm shooting this. I'm saying to, to my client, you know, listen, we're going to switch now. We're going to give you an even whole different look. We're going to go with a three-light setup. This is going to give you a nice modeling look. We're going to create a strong ratio. I learned this by so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. Validate yourself. Talk yourself up this year. Don't talk down on your competition and talk about what they're doing, put all your energy and the positive energy into your own business and what you're going to do. Don't worry about your competition. Don't worry about that. Don't put all that negative energy into things. 
And then from there, I'll normally kind of start to finish up. This is getting on the downhill side of things in a regular session. I'll switch to my ring light. Now, not every girl that comes in does their makeup like this. I just use this as an example. But uh, here's some, some pointers on if you ever want to use a ring light. These are, these are my settings of, of what I use it. So you can jot those down if that will help you. Um, but the ring light, there again, it does exactly what it says. It puts that little ring around the, uh, the pupil, the iris of their eye. And, and, and kids love it. Every one of these goes in the album. And they end up buying a print of it as well. They don't normally buy a large wall portrait, but why not do it? Everyone doesn't have a ring light right down the road here. So I'm bringing all the tools together that I can think of to build an album. If you go to this little, this little website right here and enter and uh, give them this code, uh, I can get you a discount on a ring light, uh, the one that I use, if, if it's helpful for you. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's myringlight.com. But anyways, there's one more thing that I think is, is very important that I add to each one of my sessions, and it's very, very simple. Everyone would have access to some form of this, and it's quite simply just a window. Pull them over next to a window. I use a reflector. Now, I think that's like, I think last I counted, it's like 10 or 12 different looks that I have in the studio, and that's right outside the studio as well as right inside. So you tell me what client is going to come in here and buy like, you know, two eight by tens, a sixteen by twenty, and eight wallets. Well, they're going to leave. They're going to leave probably thirty-five spectacular images on the table. There's no way they're going to do it. And I'll show you how we how we fix all that in a little bit. How many of you guys make a vow? Are going to make a vow this year to stop with a lot of these workflow troubles? And how many of you guys? just say like on your way home or halfway through the day, you feel like this poor little kid right here. You're running 99 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour area. You're running around your studio trying to figure how in the world am I going to get this done? And all of a sudden, this career that we're in or this hobby that we're in, it becomes a lot of work. It's no fun anymore because we've put so much workload on ourselves. We can't be a family. We can't sit down at our dinner table. We can't take time with our kids because we have to go to the studio. We have to stay at the studio and do all this design, all this retouching, all this everything. Listen, guys, let Rebuku take care of these albums. It is so simple. You shoot it, you upload your images, you pick a template, they send you a proof of it. You're going to love the proof because you, what you see through that template is what you're going to get. You're going to love it. And then you upload these images to your lab. Your lab sends the book to you. You've made it a great profit, but you've gone home hours throughout your day. If you calculate how much time you're going to spend building an album, calculate that times, just say even three days per week, and then calculate that by a month and then by a year. You'll be amazed. You'll, you'll have like another four weeks of vacation you can take. So don't be this guy right here. Don't be this guy. Now, this is where it gets kind of, kind of cool because in our pricing structure, we used to sell packages. Okay, you can buy package A, B, C, D, or E. Well, everybody normally went towards the bottom because we had our packages structured to where we were giving away everything in like one of the lowest packages. So everybody went with that. And then once they did all that, then I, at the end of the sale, I would say, well, hey, by the way, we have these great albums here. Um, you know, what do you think about an album? They're kind of expensive because it takes us 16 days to design one for you. Um, but, you know, they're probably a little expensive, but let me know if you would like one. They're $3,485 because, you know, all the design time that goes in. Well, we have, no, that doesn't work in my area. I'm in, a, I'm in an economically depressed area, just as much of you are. So what we did was, is we started incorporating albums into our pricing structure. So now, when you come in, we have like a step program. Step one, two, three, and four. And that's what everybody follows. Step one, you pick your portraits. Not just one portrait, but portraits. And we have bonus structures for each step. So basically, you know, like you get those coupons in the mail. If you buy one, it's this price. If you buy three, then it's this price. It's discounted. So we're, we're always warning that person. It's like dangling a carrot in front of a, a donkey, if you will. We're always wanting them to go that one step farther. Now, 
We incorporated albums as step number two. So the second step, after they pick their wall portrait, they're going to go ahead and pick their album, pick the images for their album. And they say, well, well, I'm not sure if I want an album. I'll say, well, you know, that's, that's step two. That's what most of our clients do is, you know, you have all these beautiful images here, and I would hate to see you leave all of these on the table. And an album is a great way that you can put that down in your purse. You can take it to work, show all your girlfriends, your beautiful daughter, your beautiful son. You know, you can't leave all these images here. This is her senior year. She's gotten up to go to school for 13 years counting kindergarten, and this is what she has to show for it. Now, in that step two, instead of selling them one album, we say, hey, one album, and I don't mind telling you guys what our albums are. We sell these, we sell a, um, a paper, um, a soft cover, al soft cover album for $375, and it costs it's me about $70 for my lab. That is a great profit for something that I'm not really doing a lot of extra work with. All right. Now, not only are they going to buy one, but I'm going to say, listen, we have a deal going on right now. If you buy two albums, we'll discount it by X number of percentage. And what I'm doing is, is I'm making it really hard for the grandmother that's here for her not to have an album. So we have, we've sold one, two, three, four albums before because we have it there available for them to buy. If you don't show it and don't incorporate it into your pricing structure, the odds of you being able to sell it are pretty slim. Why do you think at the checkout counter everywhere we go, and those of you with children understand, why do you think they put all this candy and all the gum and all this stuff that, that, you know, that is easy just to pick up? Why do they put that right up front? Because they know we'll buy it. We'll pick it up and we'll buy it. So you have to do this with your album. That is step two in our pricing structure. That is step two. So we have a step three and a step four that will secure even more of a sale from there. And I'm telling you guys, every single time we sell an album, every single time. So let's recap a little bit on Rebuku because mm -hmm. if there's questions between myself yeah. and Ty, I want us I want us to be able to um, to answer these. So let's let's. Yeah, this is really good stuff, but. Blair, let me let me yeah. chime let me chime in. So the one I, this is all really good content, and yeah, sure. Let me let me kind of bounce back what I hear you saying. So yeah. you're able number one, um, if you're not doing albums for whatever reason, people get overwhelmed. There's so many so many hours in the day, and yeah. and let's say I'm selling an album with uh, a three hundred dollar markup. Well, we I think as photographers, we all need to start valuing our time better. Because really easily we can like we can see all of our our hourly rate so to speak just pretty much vanish in editing and prep work and design work and so I think that's where books get a tough rap where it's a really easy thing to, it's not an easy thing it's something you can upsell it's an opportunity to make more money but we get bogged down in the in the actual design of albums and that's where Rebuku comes in but before we even get there you've got to you've got to, the work starts up front where you have been thinking about from the very minute they walk in the door that you're going to be building a, like a portfolio of images that they're going to they're not, they're going to not be able to say no to getting an album because they don't need that many portraits hung on the wall of all that you're providing with by by creating this much diversity in the portfolio they they're like well shoot what do I do like i you've got this great piece of art here I, We've already bought every portrait we can that makes sense for us to own, but I don't want. But I need to have these images. What do I do with them? And so, if you if you only have like five selects, and they print those on the wall, that's it. You're going to have a hard time selling an album. But if you put in this extra work to diversify your skill and even start simple by just having some diversity and incorporating landscape and close-ups and different lighting, then you you create this thing that is really hard to say no to. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta have an album. Especially when they can put their hands on other awesome ones you've created. Yeah, and let me add this too, guys. Um, I start selling an album before I even take my camera off the shelf. Right. When my clients come in and they lay all their outfits down in the, uh, in the dressing room, I'm, kind of, I'm, not, I'm not gonna tell you guys a story, but I am almost, I'm a manipulator. I am a salesperson because I wanna be, I wanna be, you know, I want to be rewarded for all this time. So I am telling the parents as soon as they come in, 
Now, with these outfits, guys, you just have no clue. I'm going to build you an album that is going to be, it's just, when you look at it, it's not going to be pictures. I'm going to build you an album of art. So put this first outfit on right here. I've got the first area picked out, and I, we're going to start shooting for your album right now. So I start telling the client basically what I'm <laughs> expecting them to buy before we even start. So the more I pound that into their head, when they come in for their sales appointment, they already know, hey, well, he kept talking about this album, so I guess I'm going to buy an album for sure. So right, and I think I don't work. Lay it out. Yeah, you know? it, Lay it, it out. Does. It doesn't even have to be many. I just I think it's just being a good business person where yeah, our job yeah. we got to educate our our customers into the. So if you're if you can just compete with a guy with a printer on the boardwalk, or <laughs> or you can learn and offer products that your customers don't even know about. So that's the yeah. challenge. You're you're you can't just say when everything's done and it's time to do the sales session. Oh, by the way, we have all these products. It's too late. You've got to prime them early with. Look like, like you're engaged in the process. You're going to help me create all of these perfect images and dynamic images that we're going to build in this awesome album. And here's an example of it. And so they, they're kind of built in, and it's not a surprise when it comes to uh, this is an investment because they've been prepared for it. Yeah, exactly. You know, you have to coach them through it. And, again, as, as I said, validate your work. You know, your clients don't have, don't have to know that you're, you're just uploading the, those files to Rebuku and – while you're going home, they've got a staff that is highly talented that is putting all this stuff together for you and running in the background while you're at home. Your clients don't need to know that. You have still worked hard, and you have earned the money they're going to pay you for creating those images. So, you know, if you calculate, if you calculate your expenses each month, do, do your calculations, and then divide that by the number of hours that you're at work. That is your operating costs. And if you're spending four or five, six hours of your operating calls designing an album that you're selling for a few hundred dollars, if you really break it down, you're losing money. Yep. You know, you're really losing money. And another tidbit too, Rebuku, we just we just figured this out. We had a girl come in and she had braces, you know, and, and the mom in the album, she's like, Listen, I want these removed, please. Well, what it costs for, to let Rebuku do it. It was literally like cents, like less than a dollar, I think it was, for an image for, the, for them to remove the braces. Now, it would have taken me, you know, probably an hour to sit and really meticulously get it just right. They sent, they sent the proof back, and it looked like, the, I mean, you, you couldn't tell. And I was trying to find an area where I could tell that the braces were, where they had patched it. It's got their pros, man. I mean, this is what they do for a living. So I think you know, it's. I think look. you said it right there. It's like we've got to, as you grow a business, we've got to gradually let go of, of control of yeah, letting yeah. delegating other things so you can focus on your brand and doing the things that give you the most return. That's building relationships, that's shooting the pictures, yep. and then if there all of the other things. I think it's difficult because as photographers, oftentimes we start as a business of one, maybe two, and then we hit like this this ceiling of how how much we can actually get done in a day. And yep. w what's exciting is there's tools like this that that let you grow your team exponentially, where you you don't have to necessarily hire somebody. You can just do very very specific delegation of different responsibilities to experts who are really good at one specific thing so you can get oh, back yeah. to doing the more value added stuff it's pretty cool yeah and instead of and instead of hiring on a graphic designer that's going to cost you you know forty fifty thousand dollars a year you know you can't have a graphic designer that you can call and say hey listen can you swing by right quick and design this album uh you know i've just got one album today but can you swing by for you know three hours no they're going to need a salary so this way you're hiring a graphic designer at a tremendously discounted rate, yep. and they're only working when you need them. So it's it's an ingenious plan, an ingenious idea, and like I said, it's it's definitely allowed me to to have more free time. I've got a 17 month old at home, and now I you know I've got more free time to spend with her. So it's a it's a no brainer. Um, and if you're not if you're not using them now. Definitely do yourself a favor and just check it out. You know, we're not saying that everybody needs to sell albums. You have to sell albums. Well, yeah, we kind of are. But <laughs> anyways, do, do yourself a favor, and when this is done, just give them a chance. Go on and check it out. If you're not familiar with it, 
there's there's video tutorials on YouTube that explain everything to you. The support is is perfect. It is amazing. A lot of companies now there's no support. They want you to buy into everything and they give you no support. Well, right. I wouldn't I wouldn't be a part of this company if it were not that way. So yep. uh, it is everything you see is exactly what you get. So that's uh, I'm going to recap here one quick slide here. So with Rebuco, very very simple. You're going to diversely photograph your session. You're not going to just use one lens, one flash. You're going to use multiple different lenses, multiple different perspectives, multiple different areas. That doesn't mean you have to go all over town. You can shoot in one room and get several different perspectives if you push your mind to it. So you photograph your images. You go to Rebuku. You choose, choose a design. You choose a template, a boy or girl specific template that you like, that fits that personality of that person and fits your images. They design it for you. Very simply, in just a matter of a couple of days, you're going to get approved. You're going to look through it. You're going to love it because what you see is what you get. And then from there, you're going to very sim simply upload it to your lab. It's that simple. I mean, I, I don't know. It kind of aggravates me because all the good ideas seem to be taken before I have a chance to get to them. <laughs> so this is one of those. I'm like, why didn't I think of this company? But everyone always beats me to it. But at least they're out there, and we can take sole advantage of them. So I really push you guys to, to check into album sales this year. And if you are selling albums, kudos to you. But this is just a way that you can simplify your life and make it so much easier. And all the retouching, uh, the retouching abilities that they have as well. They have color correction. These guys have got it down pat. I mean, they've, they've really figured it out. And the thing I like about them is these are photographers. They're not a, a corporate, you know, a corporate entity that, uh, you know, is from the banking world, but they started this company because they found a way to be profitable. These, these are photographers that understand our industry and they get it. So they've got a great product at a very fair price and they execute it well. And it, like I said, it allows us to go, uh, to go go home earlier and uh, and have fun with our kids. So I want to add one more thing, if it's okay. I figured just for you guys, for the next, we'll do it for the next few days. We went on our uh, our workshop page and we did a twenty five dollar twenty five percent discount on any uh, DVDs and posing guys that we had. Just use this code right here, uh, Rebuku Web. So you get twenty five percent off any kind of DVDs, uh, educational products that we have. You know, for doing these things, you know, it's obviously. We like to throw things out there that, that we can kind of benefit from too, and that you can as well. So we've got that available. Rebuku web. Just go to our store. Blairphillipsworkshops.com. Anything you want, we'll extend that just to you guys for a few days uh, for tuning in. Got a lot of great stuff there. And then if you ever, if you think that, that what I shared with you here was was pretty simple, and you would really like to experience a lot more in depth. Um, we do have a lot of workshops that we do here at the studio. They're two-day hands-on workshops. We can even we can even help demo the Rebuku side of things, how it works, how simple it is, share with you our workflow, um, you know, how all that stuff works. So just keep that in mind. And from here, I think I'll turn it back over to you guys, and we'll see by chance if there's any questions that we can help anybody with. Yeah, I think this is really good. Um, Ty, if you want to come on the line, um, I think a couple people asked um, where they can see examples. If you go um, to just the Rebuku website, you can check out the different design templates that are available. It makes it really easy to see some samples. And then um, the pricing structure. What 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 is the? Um, I think you, it's, the prices start at like a, a standard spread. What what is that at right now? Well, the way it is, and I actually I just sent a message out to everyone that's on board to. Uh, to a link to go to uh, see the different designs. But uh, our standard service fee for our basically what is uh, 22 size 11 spreads, and that's up to 30 images, is $30, which is a, it's a very, very unheard of price. It's just ridiculous, um, man. It's such a good deal. Yeah, anyone that's done this with wedding knows that they're going to spend anywhere from $175 to $200 to have a wedding album design. And we're doing this for $30, and you can add additional spreads at $2.50. So you can add up to 42 images. But we've also just started to incorporate into our site packages uh, where you can come in and you can do a 
new to book starter where we're actually going to send you a training DVD template marketing material. I'm going to personally give you two hours of con uh, consult via email, via phone, however it works best for you. And then you receive $575 of gift cards. We have those packages available. We have gift cards available. Or you can pay as you go. You can, you know, we use uh, through PayPal service. Um, and I think Blair, you know, hit it best. We're not a corporation. We're photographers just like you guys. Uh, we were struggling with our book design because we, we, we sell almost 200 books a year. Um, it was crazy, and I was trying to find 15 to 18 extra hours a week to, to design this, and it was consuming my weekends, my personal time, and, you know, we decided to dig deep and find a way to make this easier for us, which in turn, we could make easier for other photographers. That's, that's awesome. I, just as, as Blair was saying earlier, like, you you got to reach out to other people that have solved the problem for themselves first. I love like I, I'm so glad you thought of this idea. Um, I've reached out to other uh, photographer entrepreneurs as well, and I think you can tell pretty quickly when there's a business that's just started off an idea or a theory versus a business that's that's been started to solve an existing problem. Where you did this first just to solve your own needs, and then oh by the way, let's share this with other photographers. And I, I think that's just a, such a a more uh, just a better way to start a business, frankly. Well, yeah, it is because I mean we're all selfish. We're all looking for the for the best way to you know help our own needs in, in certain ways, certain yeah. respects. Yep. Um, after talking with many photographers, you know, we found that a we're not selling books because we don't have time to design them, or b we're not really pushing them because a we don't have time to design them. Exactly. And that's right with that. Make it, you know, we wanted to make an affordable, efficient workflow that any photographer can implement this into their sales arsenal. And it, it works. It's proven itself. I'm proud of it. I stand behind it. I'm the, I'm the customer service. You know, anybody that sends out an email, they're going to get me. That's, uh, that's who it's going to be. So, I do have a question uh, for Blair. Um, Tanya wants to know how much you're actually charging for your albums. I know you said 375 for one of them, I believe. Uh, can you go into a little more detail on what that album is? Yeah, it's um, it's a soft cover, or actually, it's a, it's a hard cover. With uh, and we use um, through our lab, we always use pearl paper. So it's a pearl cover, uh, pearl paper, and it is one of the coffee table books that we get from uh, H and H. And again, with that, with that pearl paper, that just sets it all from any snapfish, you know, any kind of knockoff album that someone's going to be able to go to Sam's Club or log into any of these, you know, generic sites that anyone can go to and print an album, this is by leaps and bounds. When they pick that album up and see it, oh man, they're, they're going to love it. And the pricing structure, like I said, is $375. And to me, that's, that's a fair price. Would I like to charge more for it? Yeah, I would. But, you know, can I charge more for it? Maybe. But I don't want them to blow all their money on this one product. I want them to be able to buy a little bit of everything. So if they buy one, it's three seventy-five. If they buy a second one, then we give them a, a pretty healthy percentage off of that second one. But we're still making money. It's the same design. So see, that's the trick. If you offer a second album, make it only on the, a duplicate album, because then you're going to have to, you know, you'll have to pay to have another one redesigned, which is no big deal. It's you know, it's thirty bucks, which is nothing. But I just instead of ordering one. I click order two and you're done. So price your albums at a very fair price because that album is what they're going to go and show their friends. That's what's going to bring you more business as well. So it's a two-fold type deal. So hopefully yeah. that helps out. And I hope there's a few more questions we can help with. Yeah, and I think that's a very key point uh, Blair brought up. Uh, we call it an incentive product. We price ours right around the $400 range too. And it's made by a uh, Canvas photo cover book. And the reason we price it here, I know many photographers who are very successful can have that book priced at $900 to $1,000, and they might sell 20 30 a year, and they're happy with that because of the large markup. What we're trying to do is not only, we're trying to provide a product in our studio that is getting people in the door. They want that book. You know? And here's the thing, these kids, when they're going to school, they're not hauling their medals or their wall portraits or their gallery blocks or any other product that you're selling to school. 
they're taking their books. That's the best word of mouth tool you can have out there for your business as well. Put your logo on the back of that book, sell it at a fair price. That customer is going to get, you're going to get word of mouth referrals based on on selling in this manner. You got it. Absolutely. Yeah, and just to I think you touched on word of mouth. I think that's where where I've built sticky albums is around that same idea. And we get some customers of mine coming in. So oh, I build I get a lot of my my revenue from from print albums and how is this how is going to mobile and making mobile albums going to cut into my revenue and what's really exciting is i i'm such a supporter of of print albums i think that while mobile in the web is changing things i i personally believe it's not a threat i, I think that people want both they still want it doesn't matter how awesome the next ipad is people there's an experience that comes with a turning the pages of a real book. And I don't think that'll ever go away. And so what a lot of photographers are using Sticky Elms as is a, an additional incentive product to help them sell print books. So say, hey, if you buy the premium print album, you're going to get a free Sticky Album with some of the, your, your best pictures in a mobile app as well, in addition to your book. Not as a replacement, but as an addition to. And that's helped um, make that decision even easier. Because, again, it's just adding a layer of, of something that doesn't take you much work at all, but you can, you can use to, to, to deliver a, a really awesome uh, value or additional product to them. There you go. Cool. Any other questions coming in, Ty? You good to go? Uh, uh, we've had a couple that are kind of more based on your pricing structure um, than anything. I do have a good question here that is asked, what size are our our albums and I think that's a good question to, to keep this uniform we stayed with square uh, coffee table albums and they range from size 5 by 5 6 by 6 8 by 8 10 by 10 and 12 by 12 uh, yeah, what I sell the most of is uh, I sell more 10 by 10s than anything and I had to go back and look at my pricing structure basically 375 if you do one uh, one book and it's 575 if you do two, so 375, or it's 575 if uh, you know if you do two of them. So a little bit extra profit there for no more work whatsoever. So and I like that idea. I think that's a great idea because we get a lot of grandparents in here that want aunts, uncles, blended families. You know, you have so much of that today that they're invested into these seniors, um, and they're all looking to get an extra book too. So I think that's a great way to go about it. All right, cool, man. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for ever joining. This is really educational. Blair, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to share all this with us. And uh, I look forward to meeting you face-to-face. -face. I think all three of us are going to be at SYNC this year yeah, in absolutely. Florida, um, teaching some even better content and even more stuff. That I like you, you started the day with um, we should always be learning, and I think you did a, a great job of delivering on that today. So thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you guys for what you do and for – Allow me to be able to share some of the success that we have by uh, by using your product. So we appreciate it. Look forward to doing it again in the future sometime. All right. Thank you, Blair. Have a good day, guys. Cheers.